Building on top of the previous episodes, we will add routing and navigation features to our UI5 app today. We start in our manifest.json file, where we add a new routing object to the SCP UI5 object. We add some mandatory configuration for our app, as well as a new routes array. We want one default route for our current overview page with a list of all the YouTube videos, and another detail route with another page where we want to display more information about each video in the list. Notice the mandatory path of the selected video item in the list that is being attached to the detail route. The routes each point to a target, which we define next. We have our overview target and our detail target. We can now move over to our component.js file and initialize the router we described in our manifest. Next, we want to refactor our app, so we have a separate view for each page of the app. This follows the structure of our targets. We will split our current app view into two parts. The app shell, where the different targets will be placed in, and the current overview content. We duplicate our app view and rename it to overview. Before we go into the app view and replace the existing content with a shell and an app control that will serve as a wrapper. We can now go into the overview and delete the app control that is wrapped around the page. We add the type navigation to our standard list item and bind an onPress method to it. Let's move over to the app controller where we add the onPress method. The method gets the item that was clicked on as well as the router we initialized in our component.js file. It then navigates to the detail target and attaches the path of the item in the model to the URI. We create a new view called DetailViewXML where we add a new page and a panel that displays the text of the selected video. We also reference our new controller, which we will create next. The controller for the detail view gets the router as well as the route that was hit. It then calls another method that gets the path of the selected item and binds this path to the YouTube model of the view. And that's how we can display it. We can now restart our app and try navigating through it. Let's continue the next episode.